If I think for one second you're trying to cross me, best believe me, the following second you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah. It's beginning to look like that. First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. Oh. You seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask. 9 p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. 
It's a damn good reason. The only reason. Believe as you like. What's that supposed to mean? Back at the farm, you shot that shepherd in the back. Because of what? He attacked your country. He was nothing but a goat farmer. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. <laughs> I say we get the fuck out of here. Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60-year-old explosive in your bag, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Every time you say something smart, you... It's caverns. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's awful. Hope is all we got left. It's funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? You didn't make it. Works for me. One less bad guy to deal with. A time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets.
this place is a jack in the box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. You crazy? If those vampires come from anywhere it's down there, you really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Rachel found her way back to the lights. Well done. All a lie. Although don't get complacent. Their lives still hang by a thread. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet, unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. Smells fried. We're in hillbilly territory. What were you expecting? Cantaloupe caviar? Not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> I recall a certain somebody saying that she wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. What is it? The guy who served me. I don't know. He was, he was looking at me pretty strange. Yeah, he probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often, especially when he's showered. <laughs> uh, he was saying some weird shit. Such as? It's nothing we should go. No, come on, tell me. He said I'll never again be as happy as I am now. What the hell does that mean? 
You don't believe him, do you? Of course not. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See? I told you. Next time, all you have to do is whistle, and I'll come running to defend your honor. Oh, like my very own loyal puppy dog. Semper Fi. I mean, it's always loyal. I'm more than capable of looking after myself. Now get your feet off my dash, you hillbilly. I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Right. Eric. Malfunctioning. Colonel, you gotta go! You too, Nick, you're coming with us! Come on, Ray! Let's move out. Think that thing's gone? Looked like it went down that tunnel. He's alive. Jason's alive. Maybe things aren't going so badly after all. Back there, oh. Thanks for looking out for me.
All right, let's find Kolchak. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Let's go. It's time. It's absolutely not the time. Rachel, I know you said to put things on ice, but you can't pretend like this didn't happen. I'm done lying. And especially with you wearing your ring again. He's right. It is time. Roll it out for us. Now? Right fucking now? Yes, now. We may not have another chance. <sighs> Fine. Eric, you and I, we had something very special, but that was a long time ago. I still love you, Rach. This isn't about choosing. It's about knowing what's best for me. I don't have feelings for you, Eric. Not anymore. You either, Nick. We're done. I don't believe it. Believe it. We were over a year ago. I don't need anyone's help to climb out of this hell. So now you both know. Maybe we can stop fucking around and go find Kolchak. What just happened? None of this would have happened if you stayed at home. You know, that's funny. I was thinking the same thing about you. some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them, or...? Don't need to be a smart ass. Just move. to Randolph Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. That didn't help him. Ah, shit. Be his wife. Your story didn't end so well, Jason. What? I can't end up like this. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of
you said. What the fuck is this place? We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zayn is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. Tough fucking gig. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. <laughs> I miss him so much. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I... We were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. Woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered. I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I uh. I had to make a call. Nick. He shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. This, this bullshit, I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? When those towers were hit, I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her and we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. What do you have in mind? We go inside there and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They try to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. 
We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Hoorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey. Whatever happens out there, I've got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. things come from. I think so. Question is, where the hell are they? creatures. No. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we're intruding on them. Link, check this out. <laughs> Sounds like music. That don't sound like any music from where I'm from. Maybe not music. Could be uh, a language. Yeah, you've seen those motherfuckers. They're not exactly the chatty type. We shouldn't underestimate them. Look at this place. Those things are intelligent. This moss is everywhere. Is it just me or is it alive? Touch it. You touch it. Pussy. <laughs> 